So the first thing that we need to do in order to build rectangle objects is we need to define a class called rectangle. And we've already suggested that this class is going to have to know two things, its width and its height, and it's going to also provide some methods, things that rectangles can do. Then when we build rectangle objects, which will be instances of that class, each rectangle object will have a width and a height, and each rectangle object will be able to perform the methods that the class defines. So the first thing to think about is how can we define this in the Python syntax? And the answer is that we need to understand how to build a class definition. And so we'll open a new editing window and we'll start to write some code. To begin with, we define classes using the class statement or the class heading. And that heading uses the word class and then the name that we want to define for the class and then a colon. And so this says I'm about ready to define a class called rectangle. Notice that the class name has a capital letter. We typically by convention have all of our class names start with capital letters. And then our object names, we usually start with lowercase letters. Once we've defined the fact that this is going to be a class with the name rectangle, now all we have to do is define the methods that exist. However, the first method that we have to write is a very special method. It's a method called the constructor. And in Python, the constructor method is always called underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And so just as we've always written functions, we use the same process to write these methods that are now part of the class rectangle. So we say def, and then the name of this function or this method is going to be underscore underscore init underscore underscore. The constructor method's job is to provide the necessary details that will be carried out whenever a rectangle object is created for the first time. And so if we want to create a rectangle, it's pretty clear that we need to provide two pieces of information. We need to provide the initial width of that rectangle and the initial height of that rectangle. However, when you build a method in a Python class, you always provide one additional parameter. That parameter is commonly referred to as self. Self, sometimes also known as the implicit parameter, will always be a reference to the actual object itself. And that's why it's called self. And so in this case, if the constructor for a rectangle needs two pieces of information, the initial width and the initial height, we will actually define the parameter list for the constructor to need three things. The first will be a reference to the actual object and then the second two will be the specific pieces of information needed to build in this case a rectangle. Once we have the heading for that constructor now we can go ahead and build the details of what the constructor has to do. And the constructor's job is to create the individual pieces of the state for that object. And so the way that we do this is we use the self-reference with a dot to say inside the object that is being built we would like to create a variable called width. And we want to initialize that variable to the initial width that we've passed in. And likewise, in the object that we're building, we would like to have a variable called height, which will be initialized to the initial height that we've passed in. Once we provide those two assignment statements, we now have a constructor that, when used, will create an object where the two values that we pass in 
will be then provided as the height and the width internally as the state of that object. Now if we want to use this constructor all we have to do is create a variable and then use the name of the class and pass the proper number of parameters. And so for example we could say my rectangle will be a reference to a new rectangle object which will be 10 units wide and 5 units high. That statement, that assignment statement then uses the constructor of the rectangle class and passes the two pieces of explicit information, the width and the height, but notice that self doesn't receive an explicit parameter. And the reason for this is that self, remember, is the implicit or hidden parameter. It actually refers to the object itself. And that reference to that object is what my rectangle will then receive from the constructor. The other thing to notice here is that the constructor does not return anything. There is no return statement in the constructor. The constructor's job is to build an object, populate the object with its specific information, and then the, re the mechanics of Python itself provide the reference to that object as the result of the constructor call, and therefore the assignment statement then saves the reference to that object.